Hello everyone, Lindsay here. So today's practice is a short practice around developing some core awareness. And when I say core, I don't mean just the rectus abdominis, the six pack abs, but I mean the area from your shoulder blades down to your pelvis. And when we have better core awareness, our movement patterns are more efficient and easeful. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start on our hands and our knees and tabletop. So hands are right underneath the shoulders, knees are right underneath the hips. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of cat-cow. So we're gonna, when you breathe in, lift the sitting bones in your chin. And then when you exhale, draw the navel into the spine and start to push the floor away, doming the back. And so we're gonna breathe in, belly drops, sits bones, chin lift. As you exhale, navel moves towards the spine, chin comes in, tailbone comes in. Okay, so let's continue this a few more rounds, breathing in, opening up the front body and breathing out, opening up the back body. Now, while you're doing this, bring awareness to the area of the navel and sense that this is where the movement originates. Around the navel is our center of gravity from which all movement originates or should be originating to make our movement patterns more efficient. Okay, last one, breathing in, heart lifts. Breathing out, belly hugs in. Okay, come back to a neutral spine. When you breathe in, extend your right leg behind you and your left arm by your ear, so bird dog. Notice your toes are turning out. Try to keep them turning down so the hip point is facing straight down. And then as you exhale, let's bring the elbow and knee into touch. Maybe the forehead moves towards the knee as well. And then inhale, expand. A couple more like this, exhaling, drawing it in. Inhaling, extend. And as you do this, awareness is at the navel. Movement originating from here, not from the arms or the legs or the head, but from the belly. Last one, inhale, and then exhale. And then inhale, extend again, place the hand on the mat, and then take your right foot and step it to the outside of your right hand. Walk the hands forward, lean into that left thigh. Now you can stay here or you can sweep your right arm behind you. Taking a little bit of a twist here. And when we do this, it's not the head and the arm again are pulling you into the twist. It comes from the belly and the head, the arm follow, okay? So you can stay here or bend the back leg, see if you can grab for the foot. If you have the foot, if you need, you can have an option of squaring the shoulders again to the front of the mat, which will accentuate the stretch that you're gonna feel on the front of your left thigh. If you want a little bit more intensity, you can start to pull the heel towards your bum. So a couple of different options for all of us. Gently release the foot, place the hand underneath your shoulder, straighten the back leg, and then hug your right knee around your tricep and then lift the heel towards your bum. Hover here for a moment, breathe in and out. And then inhale, slowly step back to your high plank, hold high plank. And you can keep holding this, or an option here would be to take your right hand, touch your left shoulder, and then switch, left hand touches right shoulder. And then go back and forth, but notice if you're starting to sway the hips a lot, try to keep the hips as steady and still as possible as you alternate back and forth. And try not to hold the breath, but keep the breath rhythmic and smooth. Last one, touch the left shoulder, touch the right shoulder, Breathe in here, and then exhale, push back to your downward facing dog. Pause here, breathe in, and breathe out. And then inhale, come back down to your tabletop position. Pause here, make sure your hands are right underneath the shoulders. And then extend your left leg behind you, right arm by your ear, take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, draw the elbow towards the knee, and then inhale, expand. Okay, three more like this. And again, make sure the breath stays as rhythmic and smooth as possible. Oftentimes when we do any core work, we start to tense the breath or it becomes too forceful, but we're still doing yoga, we're still doing ujjayi breath. Okay, from here, bring the hand down to the mat, step the left foot to the outside of your hand, walk the hands forward so you can lean into that right thigh. 
stay here if you like. If you got an, enough of a stretch here or take the left hand behind you, move from the navel center. And then spread the collarbones wide. If you need a little bit more intensity, you can bend that back leg, grab for the foot. Another option would be to square the shoulders, pull the heel towards your bum. Try not to hitch the hip back, but soften into the right thigh. A couple more breaths here. And then gently release the foot, set the hand right underneath the shoulder, straighten the back leg, hug the knee around your tricep, hover here, pull the heel towards your sits bone. And then nice and slow, breathe in, step back to that high plank, hold here and exhale. And then we'll do the, uh, the taps again, but this time see if you can touch your hip. Left hand to your right hip, and then right hand to your left hip. And keep going here and try not to sway the hips, but keep them as stable as possible, which is when they enable you to <laughs> isolate your core muscles a little bit more. Last one, left to right right to left, pause here, breathe in, and then push back, exhaling into downward facing dog, smooth breath in and out. Okay, let's take the right leg up to the sky, inhaling, and then exhale, draw the knee into the nose and dome the back. So similar to what we did in bird dog, we're just doing it from downward facing dog. As you exhale, navel hugs in, pull the heel as tight to the sits bone as you can. As you breathe in, leg rises up to the sky, exhale, draw it in. Now hover here, set the foot between the hands, and then lift the back leg. Come up onto your fingertips. Spine is nice and long, chin is in. Take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, bend both knees and come into this tight ball here. Inhale, expand. And keep pulsing. Exhale, bend both knees, round the back. Hug the belly in. Inhale, expand. Last one, exhale. Inhale. Now this time, step back. Ground down through the heel. Inhale, rise up. Warrior one. Pause here. Let's make sure the breath is steady. Now with the exhale, you're going to straighten the leg. Bring your arms down by your side. Now, when you breathe in, lean forward, sweep the arms by the ears. And then exhale, shift back. Chin is slightly in, navel hugs in on that exhale. Inhale, collarbones lift. Exhale. We have two more, smooth rhythm of breath. Making sure that the breath is about a one to one ratio of breath. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Okay, now this time we're going to come back into warrior one. Stay here. Spin to the ball, the back foot. Now as you do this, draw the front ribs in so you feel the tailbone lengthen. And as you do that, that creates more stability because you're engaging your core muscles. Now push the left thigh forward just slightly. Now nice and slow, start to lower the knee down to the mat and then bring the hands to the heart space. Take a deep breath in and out. Interlace the hands, place the hands behind the head, draw the elbows back. As you exhale, remember movement's coming from the navel center. We're gonna exhale, come into a twist. This is gonna isolate the movement to the core so it's not the head and the arms drawing you in, but the center. And two more. Watch if that left elbow is starting to hug in. Keep the elbows wide. Next time you come in, hold here. Keep the belly hugging into the spine. Shoulders are wide. And then release the arms out into a T position. Take a deep breath in. Now exhale, take your hand down to the inside of the foot. Straighten the back leg. Revolve side angle. Two breaths here. Last one. Okay, take your hand down to frame the foot. Draw your heel into your bum, hover here, breathe in and breathe out. Next inhale, send the leg back up behind you, one leg dog. 
And then exhale, bring the foot down to the mat. Pause here, breathe in and breathe out. Okay, let's take the left leg to the sky, inhale. Now you're gonna shift forward to plank pose as you exhale, draw the knee into the chest, forehead to knee. Inhale, take it back. Got two more, exhale. Now on this last one, draw it in, push the floor away. Pull the heel in tight to your bum. Lightly set the foot between the hands. Walk the fingertips forward, lift the back leg. Pull the front ribs in. Lift from the inseam of the back leg. Now with your next exhale, bend both knees, round the back, get really tight. And then inhale, expand. Two more. Okay, next time, inhale, extend. And then exhale, slowly start to bend the knee. Step back, ground the heel down. Inhale, rise up. Warrior one. Now we're going to pulse here. Exhaling, straighten the leg. Arms sweep down by your side. But there's still this sense of pulling the belly in and up. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, shift back. Okay, let's do three more. Using these movements really to help stabilize the breath. Steady the breath. Good. Now as we come in this time, bend the knee, arms sweep up by your ears, spin to the ball of the back foot. Draw the front ribs in, slight bend in that back leg so you feel the stability in the legs, the pelvis, the core so that perhaps it becomes a little bit easier as we bend the knee, slowly bring the knee down to the mat. Okay, let's go ahead and interlace the hands and draw them behind the head. Pull the elbows back, front ribs in. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale, move from the navel center, come into the twist. Inhale, unwind. And watch that right elbow. There's going to be a tendency to want to pull from the shoulder. Just try to isolate the movement from the navel. Okay, we're going to do one more. Inhale, unwind. Exhale, pulse and come in. Now stay here. Open the arms wide. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, bring the hand down inside the foot. Straighten the back leg. Revolve side angle. You can look up towards your thumb or towards the ceiling. Pause here, just a couple more breaths. Keep lifting the back knee. Belly is hugging in and towards the ceiling. Okay, take the hand down to frame the foot. Pull the left heel into your bum, hover here. And then with your next inhale, send the leg up behind you, one leg dog. And then exhale. Bring the foot down to the mat. Pause here and breathe in. And breathe out. And then walk the feet to the top of the mat. Bring your feet together. And then start to bend the knees. Bring your sits bones down towards your heels. Nice and slow and controlled. Bring your bum down to the mat. And land in the vasana boat. Squeeze the knees together. See if you can broaden the collarbones. Now you can stay here, or we're gonna do what I call jellyfish. So be like a jellyfish, nice, smooth, floating through air and space. So you're gonna breathe in, extend the legs wide, arms wide, keep the shoulders off the mat, legs off the mat, and then exhale, bring it in, squeeze the legs together, ankle bones together, and here we go again, inhale, and exhale. Okay, we're gonna do three more. Of course, if you want to do more, <laughs> feel free to do that. Inhale, take it wide. Exhale, try to squeeze the legs. Last one, inhale. Exhale, bring it in. Hold here. Pull the heels in. Place the feet on the mat. Either leave the hands floating or you can grab the back of the legs. And slowly, slowly, slowly come down onto the mat. Try not to lift the feet off the mat as you do so. Relax here, arms go out wide, breathe in. 
and breathe out. Now scooch the hips over to the left about two inches. Straighten the left leg to the mat, right leg to the sky, flex the feet, take a deep breath in. And then we're gonna come into a twist with the exhale. Sweeping the leg to the left. And then inhale, come back to center. And we'll do three more. Exhaling. Pull the navel in and to the right. Inhale, come back. So now we're using our core strength to control the movement, to slow the movement down and help reverse the movement. Okay, last one. Exhale, come in. Now stay here. Keep the foot hovering above the mat, the same height as the hip. Belly in and to the right. Push through your heel. Head is center, so you're gazing up towards the ceiling, or you can even look to your right thumb. Okay, inhale, come back to center. Exhale, place both feet on the mat. Square off the hips, take a moment here. Regulate the breath if you need to. So because we're doing yoga, we always wanna make sure that the breath is smooth and even. Okay, it's more important than the movement of the body itself. Okay, hips shift to the left. Straighten the right leg to the floor, left leg to the sky, breathe in. And then you're gonna exhale, twist. Inhale, come back to center. And we have three more. Nice smooth movement, matching the smooth movement of the breath. Two more. And the next time you come in, we're gonna hover here. Try not to let the foot come down to the floor, but the belly is hugging in and to the left. And there's even the sense of the top leg moving away from the belly. Two more breaths. You're using the strength of the core just to hold this posture. Create some steadiness. And then inhale, come back to center. Place both feet on the mat, square off the hips, regulate the breath. And then let's draw both knees into the chest. Bring the forehead towards the knees as you exhale. And then inhale, shoulders come down, straighten the arms. And then we'll pulse two more times. Exhale, bend the elbows, pull the knees in tight. Inhale, release. Last one, exhale, pull it in. Inhale, and then place the feet on the mat, pause. And then let's just go ahead and straighten the legs. Arms stay by your side. Close the eyes, take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And bring awareness down to the belly. And just let's do a few rounds of diaphragmatic breath. So when you breathe in, you feel the belly rise. And when you breathe out, you feel the belly softly fall. Taking a longer breath in and a more complete breath out. Each cycle of breath becomes more rhythmic, more smooth, and more even. as if the breath originates from the belly. And each breath, the body becomes more relaxed. And as the body becomes more relaxed, so too can the mind relax. And then release the conscious control of the breath. Let go of everything for these last few moments. No effort, no doing, no trying. Simply being still and present in this moment.
Keep softening. Keep relaxing. Maintaining present moment awareness. And you're welcome to stay here as long as you like. But if you're ready, go ahead, deepen the breath. And draw the knees into the body, rolling to one side, and then gently pressing yourself up to your seat. Leave them eyes closed just for a moment longer. Coming into a seated position comfortable for you. And bring awareness back down to the belly. The center of our gravity, our movement originates from. Knowing that the more awareness that we have of this area, the more time we spend strengthening this area, the more efficient we can move, the more freedom we'll have in our movements, more stability, more strength, and more flexibility. So let's bring the hands together at the heart space, bow the head down slightly. Take a deep breath in and out. And when you're ready, gently opening your eyes and making your way back. So until next time, my friends, keep practicing, keep evolving, and may you be blessed and blessed and blessed. Namaste.